This video will cover the steps to reset the following Tsunami products back to factory defaults via Scan Tool version 3.1.3, uh, the Quick Bridge and Multipoint 825 radios, uh, only with units built starting on week 35, 2016. So when you look at your serial number, it's going to be uh, something like 16TT35, so anything after 35. Uh, 35 or after is going to uh, have this feature. And then the, uh, the MPQB835 uh, radios. A quick note, as the reset works at the bootloader level, VLAN configuration will not impact the procedure. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and cover how to do a reset on the MPQB835 radios. Now, they are a little bit different because uh, they do not come with a uh, POE power injector with a reload button. Okay, um, now there's two ways to do a reset on these radios. Uh, the first way, is, of course, is going to be via uh, HTTP. Okay, uh, management, and then you could have reset the factory. Okay, uh, the new feature uh, that is uh, unique to the 835s is within the scan tool, and it has to be version 3.1.2. Okay, there is a, a feature for reload and reset, and we'll go ahead and cover the reload uh, in a different video. All right, now. Um, as stated before, it's extremely important that these radios are directly connected to a PC. They cannot be connected to a, a switch or router. The radio has to be directly connected to a PC. All right. Now, the process itself is fairly simple. Okay. Uh, go ahead and use the scan tool. Uh, detect the radio. Okay. In my case, my radio is right here, my MP835. Go ahead and push the reload reset. Okay, it's going to tell you right there, device must be directly connected to the PC through Ethernet, and you must be able to turn it on and off during this procedure. So that means you must have direct access to the power. Okay, uh, it could be either directly from the um, power plug or just unplug in the Ethernet uh, portion of the PoE, just as long as... Uh, there's no power going up to the radio. All right, so and just go ahead and click OK. It's a screen that's going to pop up. It's going to give us either reload or reset. Okay, we press reset. Now, okay, uh, now it tells you to turn it off. Click OK and then turn it back on. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, it's going to say reset request operation. And it's waiting for a device to respond. Uh, I followed the instructions. I unplugged it, uh, clicked OK, and then plugged it back in. Okay, once again, directly connected to your PC. Okay, reset, a request operation is successful. All right. Be two minutes in total. Uh, once it's going to go through this entire process. Now, once it's done, I'm going to get and get another window here telling us that it is complete. Now, this is uh, uh, really handy uh, when we, you need to reset the radio and uh, you do not have access to the actual uh, HTTP portion. Okay, so here we are, we are done. Go ahead and close the window. Uh, we could go ahead and click a do a rescan. Now, the whole process does take a little bit because it is reconfiguring, so uh, I'm gonna have to give it some time. Okay, so after about two, three minutes, um, the reset takes about that long. Go ahead and click rescan, and then it should pop up with the 169 IP. Here's our radio right here, our MP835. Uh, go ahead and click change, and as you can see, we're back to defaults. The read, write, password is public. Type that in, click OK, and there you are. The radio is going to go and reboot in another minute and a half or so. You're going to have your radio backing up. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a great tool to have uh, if you lost access to HTTP GUI and you do not have the POE with the reload button. Uh, that said, I uh, do definitely highly recommend having a POE with the reload button. Uh, go ahead and provide the PN number um, later on. 
uh, for your uh, for you, so you could go ahead and purchase it from a, a Proxim reseller. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.